seen you singing in the build-up in your dressing room. You seem to exude confidence. You believed in yourself coming back over here. Oh, most definitely. There's one thing uh, that's never been lacking for me is my confidence in myself. Uh, I'd be allowed to say I didn't have butterflies. You know, David scares the hell out of me. Big, strong, athletic guy. Uh, Olympic pedigree. I mean, just a good, strong boss. He scared the hell out of me. But he brought the fucking best out of me. Can you say fuck? Not really, but don't worry, we'll let it fly. Um, Apologise for that, folks. He, he's, he's pumped up and we understand. How close were you to being out in the second? I wasn't close at all. It was a knockdown. It was a good knockdown, but I was going back with the punch. So it didn't. It wasn't one of those crunching David right hand, uh, you know. So I knew the count was. I was clear-headed the whole time. And you see, as soon as the bell rang for the next round, I was the first in the middle. Did you believe that you were able to drag him into a fight? We all thought it was going to be more technical than that. Oh, yeah, of course. Everybody going to be technical until they get hit. You know, Lennox Lewis probably going to wind up being a great teacher and a trainer. But he only had one training camp with the guy. He's not going to get that style one training. Lennox didn't get it one time when he worked with Emmanuel. So I knew he wasn't going to get it, you know, working with a second-hand Emmanuel like Lennox Lewis. <laughs> Where does this leave you now? It leaves me looking for title shots. Or if I can't get title shots, fights towards the title. I would love to fight Tyson Fury over here or in Vegas or anywhere that big pussy wants to fight. He's been mouthing off about me, my age, whatever. Tyson Fury, let's get it over, man. Or if I can't get him in the ring because I know he's going to run. Come on, Billy. You, you fight guys, you know ain't got no shot to beat you. Fight some guys with, with height and experience like myself. A couple of questions to finish off. Could you believe after what happened in Bern that you would be back in this position now a, a year and a bit on? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I have my doubts, obviously. I'm a human being. But I got to be by the best in the world. And as you see, if you take one step below the best, which I think David is, he's just a step below, you're not going to be me. Because I'm over that step, and I've proved that time and time and again. I asked you this five months ago, that sort of what next for David Price. What would be your interpretation of, of where he's at now? I mean, he, he has to start over, obviously. Um, you know, I, I think his problem was he was in great condition, but his mind wasn't. You know what I mean? You can train with Lennox all you want. Lennox was a tough-minded guy. And if you can't get past your physical limitations with your mind like I do, everybody seen me there looking old and slow and sloppy at times, but my mind is great, man. I'm a thinker. I saw David get tired. I took his right hands after he knocked me down. I didn't even move from him. I pushed him down. I walked him back. I discouraged him. And in the end, I stopped him. Any chance you might move over here? Hey, man, I, you know what? <laughs> to be real with you, I love the people over here. That's no joke. I can move over here in the summertime. <laughs> you know, and I've talked to, uh, I don't know if you want to put this out there, but I've talked to promoters over here about promoting me. I'm not going to name no names at this moment. It might be inappropriate. But I would love for them to bring me over here, make this my second home. And finally, in your dressing room before the fight, I think you had a bit of Lionel Richie. Easy like Sunday morning. Oh, what, like Sunday what's going to be the soundtrack for Saturday night for Tony Thompson? Hey, man, I'm going to go home and break my wife's hip. I ain't had sex with her in a while. She's going to feel the pain. And the pleasure. Oh, oh it's going to be some pleasure fixed into there. But she might be crippled in the morning. So um, if anybody out there want to donate a wheelchair, to right. save the Miss Thompsons. Okay. All right, she'll Fun. be. <laughs> Listen, well done, congratulations. Enjoy your sleep. Oh, yes, and we thought the, the initial reference.